what if you manufacture and export goods, and after you don't ship it off, your buyer tells you, guess what? We don't have your money. We can't pay. What do you do then? Trade credit insurance may be the answer. I'm Kalila Reynolds, and this is Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service, giving you the tools to help your small or medium enterprise grow. Pay attention because at the end of this episode, we'll have a giveaway. I'm joined again by Alan Thomas. He is the Loan Origination and Business Development Manager here at Exim Bank. Welcome back, Alan. Okay, good day, Miss Reynolds. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me back today. Wonderful. So tell me, what is trade credit insurance? Trade credit insurance is a product that is sold by the Exim Bank to provide protection to persons who provide goods, uh, service, services, and sell products overseas or in the local market. It provides a type of protection against uh, commercial default if the person is unable to pay, or the country in which um, you have sold goods, there is a political uh, upheaval and there is no foreign exchange to pay. It provides you with that type of protection. Mm. So you can come to Exim Bank at what point in the process? So Given that it's insurance, I assume it's before you ship your goods. Okay. What would ha happen is that you need to have a policy first. Mm -hmm. You need to have a policy, a trade credit insurance policy. And under that policy, we will establish uh, protection against particular buyers. So firstly, you will approach us and say, Exim Bank, I, I want to sell to this customer. Would you provide us with protection against that? Exim Bank will then check, do credit checks on that buyer to find out if that buyer has a good reputation in the market. Upon discovering that, then we will provide you with a limit. Let us say that limit is 50,000 US dollars. Then it means that you can sell up to 50,000 US dollars worth of goods to that person. And in the event that that person is unable to pay at the end of the, the period, then you would be able to make a claim against the bank for compensation. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's how the product works. And to also protect you against, as I said, against for political uh, upheaval. upheaval. And you can also make a claim in that instance also. And do I get back all my money? No, unfortunately. <laughs> but percentage? some part of the risk you will carry and you will get back up to 80% mm -hmm. of what you, the invoice amount. So for example, you have sold 50,000, as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to get back $40,000 of that. But that would at least cover you most of your expenses. And so you would not have, while you may have lost $10,000, you would have covered back most of the at money. And you expensive. can go back to the market. Right. So probably you would end up losing just your profit, but at just least your, your expenses are covered. And it, that in itself, for some small businesses, that can be a, a transaction that can actually set by the company many, many months or even yeah. years yeah. when they lose on a large uh, contract. So it, in the sense that trade credit insurance will always provide uh, the exporter or the seller that protection. And why, and why this product is also good, it, is, it, it gives the customer the opportunity to see new markets. Because when you are going into a new market and suddenly you realize there is protection from you, for you against somebody you have never done business with. Right. And you can get credit check done on that company to determine your risk. Wait, does Exim do that credit check? Yes, Exim will carry out the credit check oh. to check, but that that carrying out of the check is also something that we will pass on to you, the cost. That's very... It's, it's a very minimal cost based on the fact that it's less than $100. And based on the fact that you're going to be doing thousands and thousands of dollars of business with these new persons you have not known, you don't know anything about, then it's, it's a reasonable expense for you to incur to protect your payments down the line. That's very handy because you make a good point. If I'm selling to somebody in a country, I might not even speak the language of that company, of that country. Yes. <laughs> and yes, trying yes. to find out, you know, how credit worthy. Never done person. business with them, don't know anything about the company. But by you having this policy, you can get so much information about the credit worthiness of this client. So it gives you that sense of conviction that you can take your product 
and go out into the market and market far and wide because that protection will be there for you. Okay, so what does this cost? The, the, policy, the policy costs you 0.6% of the value of the invoice. Again, let us say you are doing $100,000 and you are supposed to be doing, you are taking out the policy, it costs you $600 for, to, take, to get coverage on that $100,000. Imagine, $600 to protect $100,000. That is still a reasonable cost for you to incur to protect your funds. Mm -hmm. So imagine those clients who may have actually done export to countries um, that are affected by the COVID and the commercial activities have slowed down and you might not have been able to get paid. Then that somebody like that who now could actually have made a claim for those payments that should have come in before. So... Alan, I hear it gets even better. So you can actually use this policy as collateral? Yes. Okay. Because the, the receivables in this instance is again insured, and we feel confident that it will be paid, and if it is not paid, then the funds will be there to pay out on the policy. We are willing to provide you with financing because, again, some persons, you make this export, you make this sale, but because you have to, the, the market is so competitive, you have to provide credit to, to the buyer. It might be 60 days, it may be 90 days, it may be even about 120 days. But you need funds to continue your business because it's, if you're paid in 90 days, you wouldn't be able to just wait around for 90 days before you can buy new raw material and go out and do more business. You would want to get the money as early as possible that you can buy new product. So what we have done is that we are willing, and we do, provide um, up to 80% of the amount that you have on that invite, invoice as a loan to you. So you can now go home, purchase uh, goods and services again, and start the, 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 the selling process all over again. So it gives them a, a buyer the opportunity, a seller, I should say, the opportunity to make multiple sales Within a, within a cycle. So it, instead of you waiting for 120 days to make another sale, you could make a sale today, come to Exim Bank, we discount those receivables, give you the money in, in 10 days, 20 days, you go back, you make more goods and services, you sell again, you come back to Exim Bank. So you can do multiple transactions while you are waiting on the first payment for the fact that we are willing to advance your funds against those receivables. Makes sense? A lot of sense. Lots of, lots of flexibility. Lots of flexibility. I love it. Yes, yes. An excellent product. And something that I believe that most exporters, most exporters should have in their arsenal because it gives you that flexibility to do business with persons you do not know about. You don't know anything about their credit risk because we will do the check. It also gives you the opportunity to do business giving extended credit. Because you know at the back end that when you come back to Exim Bank, Exim Bank will provide you with financing to go back to the market and create other goods and services. And from that standpoint, excellent product. Absolutely. Thanks, Alan. And here's a quick recap about trade credit insurance. Trade credit insurance protects you from non-payment. It can be used as collateral with Exim Bank, and it gives you peace of mind in doing business with buyers abroad that you don't know. And it's time now for our giveaway question. What's the difference between trade credit insurance and receivables financing? Answer on Exim Bank's Instagram page at Exim Bank JA and you can win a lovely prize. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service. Check out their website EximBankJA.com. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Until next time.